Welcome back to the Forensic Detailing Channel, guys. Great to see you. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, today we're gonna to try and do a one-take review of a new to market, relatively new, Auto Glim all-purpose cleaner. Safe and effective cleaner for all surfaces, exterior and interior. So if you're new to detailing, what is an all-purpose cleaner? It's generally a water-based surfactant blend that you can use to clean surfaces of your car. What surfaces? Well, I just did a best of APC a while back, and the products, there's a lot of variance in the company's vision of what an APC should be. Some are exterior degreasers, some are interior cleaners, some can't be used on certain surfaces like metal and leather and things like that because they can contain slightly corrosive surfactants or components like sodium hydroxide, for example, that is um, pretty caustic actually, but don't panic too much because they know what they're doing, but they use them in small amounts. But you have to look at the instructions whenever you buy an APC and see what that manufacturer says. Also with the instructions, there was a lot of variance in how to use them. Some were very clear that you must rinse them off or wipe them off if you're in the interior. Some didn't even say that, you know, so there's a lot of ambiguity around all-purpose cleaners. So I hope that clears it up. For me, the first requirement of an all-purpose cleaner is that it can be used safely and effectively on all surfaces. I know it sounds obvious, but I'm really glad that someone's put that on the bottle so that when I get this, basically I can use it on anything on my car because it says it can be used on anything. Now let's just have a look at the destructions. All purpose cleaner has been designed to assist exterior with exterior cleaning. That's interesting, and it says exterior there, and is ideal for a pre spray prior to a shampoo to loosen bugs, stub and dirt, and traffic film from paintwork and wheels. It has excellent degreasing qualities, good, we're going to test those, and is a perfect solution for engine bays, boot shuts, fuel, fil fuel filler caps. And here we go, this is what I wanted to see. All purpose cleaner is also safe to use in your car's interior surfaces and perfect for heavily soiled or stained interior and, and uh, thorough annual clean. And also for regular ongoing cleaning, we'd recommend Auto Glim interior shampoo. So perhaps that's a bit lighter, a bit milder. Now, okay, so, so right, let's carry on, let's carry on. Although I, there's some bits I wanna pick up on there. Exterior use, do not apply in direct sunlight or if the paintwork is warm, because you're gonna dry the surfactant out before you can rinse it off. Apply to dry surfaces, apply liber liberally, especially where there is buildup of mud or dirt, so get it on there. Allow it to dwell for up to five minutes. Do not allow to dry. Brilliant, thank you. When removing grease and grime, agitate with a soft brush or wash mitt. Rinse with high pressure. Stubborn deposits may, be, may require repeat application with agitation. If using as a bodywork pre-spray, if, if using as a body for, if using as a bodywork pre-spray, now shampoo the vehicle, okay? Um, and then there's a separate set of instructions for interior, always pre-test fastness to the color surface, okay, fabric, blah, 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 gently agitated, blah, blah. wipe it clean with a microfiber cloth, thank you, for leather, blah, 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 finally wipe it clean with the damp, yeah, or the aqua dry, that's interesting. Do not use on sat nav or dashboard screens, okay, well it's not an all-purpose cleaner then. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being facetious. Um, some of those screens can have like a little thin layer that gets de um, that gets deteriorated. The modern ones tend to be okay, so Auto Glim are probably being very careful there, but good that it's in there because they test their products to hell and back, so they obviously know not to use it on those surfaces for a reason, so follow that. For more detailed instructions, visit the website. I, I don't mind that, that's okay. That's a really good set of instructions for me, and there's some safety warnings here causes skin irritation, eye damage, etc., etc., which you have to do. Um, okay, so we've gone through all of the basics there, guys. Whew. <laughs> Important to do. Now, let's just demo the product, what it looks like and what it feels like, okay? I've used quite a bit of this, or less than half. I've got, I've got about up to there, so I've had a few goes with it. Um, let's just get some on our little detail brush. And let's just spray some so you can actually see it. This car's clean. We're gonna, we're gonna gauge its cleaning power on um, the dirt simulator because that's a consistent thing that we always use. I just wanna see how, how it looks and how it foams up. 
So that's pretty foamy, actually. When you, you, you know, if you put a bit on the brush, you always get a bit more foam. So that's quite a rich, foamy formulation, which I think people probably want nowadays. People definitely want that. I'm just going to put this over my leather as well. So you get all these detailing shots. That's really rich, actually. Really rich for one squirt into the brush. So that does, I thought I was, it makes a big difference, basically. I might can just do, take a semi-wet, semi-wet towel, just mop this up, which is a really important thing. By using a wet towel, you're just going to thin it as well. And if you've dried any of it, the water's going to thin it because the water kind of soluble or water miscible, whatever you want to say. So it mops up quite nicely, actually. But I bet you that needs a, I bet you that needs a dry wipe. Let me just take this one. Give that a little dry wipe. Yeah, so that just gives you a little demo of using it. So there's nothing that any other APC wouldn't do there. Um, that's absolutely fine. Now let's go and have a look at this on the dirt simulator. Because I'm interested in how potent this stuff is. So out on my test panel here, we have the dirt simulator, the forensic dirt simulator, which is, it's an organic mix of stuff that you would find in road film. Um, <laughs> but to get rid of it, you need to have quite strong degreasing. Think of it as like, engine muck is a good way of thinking of this so let's take auto glim all-purpose cleaner and follow the instructions and just wet out a section of this so let's just wet this out it doesn't really matter how much we use to be honest as long as it wets it out oh yeah okay that's doing a good job so i want to see how much free rinse is off yeah that's good that's good, that's better than I thought it was going to be. I, you never know, do you? You never know. Now this product here is Surfex HD mixed down at 10 to 1. So it's a bit like taking this, which is a ready to use product, and mixing it with 9 litres of water, isn't it? 10%. <laughs> so 9 litres of water, 1 litre of surfactant or whatever, gives you 10 litres. So that's just going to, we're going to sit that on there for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to go on this side with 10% surfex. Right. Okay. It's interesting, isn't it? The surfex, well, it's a different sprayer. This has probably got a, a bit more grunt, this sprayer. But the surfex was stripping, stripping the grease off as it hit it with the pressure. But let's wait a little while. Let's wait a little while and just let these do their thing. You can see some footprints of heavier dirt there. I don't think there was any on this bit. There's some there, 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 the bit there. That might not come off because it's, it's a concentration of some other bits and pieces. But it should do, actually. Well, we'll see. Let's not forebode it. But interesting. So I think, really, that surfactant's done its job. There's no point in leaving it on for any longer. So let's just rinse off the um, auto glim. Let's see what this does. Pretty good. It's interesting actually. Oh, okay, yeah. It's wetted out some of the other side as well. Really interesting. That's, that's actually relevant, that is. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay, the surfex. See something that's happened there. Really interesting. So let's just look at the results. The auto glim has actually really shifted that dirt simulator and it needs to have massive degreasing power to do that under low pressure kind of rinse. But 
you can see the level of dirt that's still left on there under a similar test. Whereas we look at the built hamber side. I mean, that's really, my finger is clean. My finger is clean. Look, and if I go over this, my finger is picking up the dirt simulator. So, interesting. I thought the auto glim wouldn't touch my dirt simulator, to be honest, because when I tested my APCs, some didn't have any effect. Um, and I've always kind of associated auto glim with kind of very mild chemicals that will not damage your car. That's their number one priority is everything must be completely bulletproof, user friendly and safe. Um, and they usually get that right. But this time I think they've got a bit of clout in this all purpose cleaner, which is, which is impressive. But one thing that's interesting, you can see the difference in how um, these APCs wet out a surface that where we sprayed the built hamber there and the auto glim there, where the auto glim sat, it degreased. Where the surfex sits, it spreads. So that surfex has incredibly low surface tension and it wets out a surface really, really well. Um, and as a degreaser, it's very good. And surfex was my number one APC in my test. You can kind of see why anyone that uses it figures out that it's powerful. In here, I have Geon APC diluted down at five to one. Oh, going to have to pump for ages. And this, in theory, should also strip or break down the dirt simulator. Let's just give that a little bit of a shaky, shaky. Let's put that on the rest of it. We have wetted the film, which isn't going to help. Actually, it's going to create a little bit of a it's going to create a little bit of a disadvantage for the Geon one because we've got on rinse, so there's a layer of water over the dirt simulator. So then the surfactant can't. It's not the same test, but I'm cleaning the rest of the panel off. Um, and you can see it's working and it's degreasing. So we've got to give that a few minutes like the other ones to just do its thing and then we'll pressure rinse that off. Interesting. So I've got enough here to give you some conclusions on auto glim all purpose cleaner. So let's just talk about prices first guys. Now you can buy a liter of Koch Chemi Green Star, which you can use up to 140, 120 sorry, but typically one to 10 is its kind of sensible exterior use, okay? So the value proposition of that, when you really mix it at one to 10 for most things and one to 50 for interior or whatever and that for floors, the value proposition of Green Star is phenomenal. Surfex HD, £9.95 for a litre and use it at one to 10 through to one to 100. One to 10 for most exterior. So again, the value proposition is really good. The auto glim APC is 15 pounds for a litre and you, you're not supposed to mix it down, okay? It's ready to go. Here's some other ready to go products. Geon Bog and Grime, 18 pounds a litre. Stana Gloss Forced, which is a citrus based kind of cleaner thing. You know, I don't know if it's call it an APC, but similar thing. Just gives us an idea on the price, which I think is 11 pounds a litre. So that's a pretty good price actually. So the auto glim sits in the middle of Gion and Starmer Gloss that are both kind of premium detailing brands. Um, but I feel like all of these products really, I mean, I feel like 15 pounds a litre of APC, I feel like it's expensive. And since day one of my channel, I've always gone on about costs and things like that, because it is important. And that gives, that's why we give you this, to give you a comparison. Now there are some advantages to buying a ready to use that you might not, your chances of messing up are less if you mix it out according to manufacturing instructions. If I go and use Surfex at neat in my cockpit, you know, it's gonna be harder to get it out of there and all that sort of stuff. And it's not required to use it neat. So you can over concentrate, I guess. 
and plus some people might not have all the fancy spray bottles and I do use deionized water with Surfex so it doesn't like calcify in the bottle and blog up the filters so I do use DI water some people can't be bothered with that um, so if you want a ready to use those are some of the advantages but the big disadvantage is you really pay a lot extra a massive amount extra compared to using a concentrate okay and Auto Glim, you know they've got their Halfords range of products you think of their UHD shampoo it costs whatever it costs it costs quite a lot of money and then they've got like a five litre trade version of the shampoo where the cost per wash is like about less than 10p and it's good. <laughs> so I'm more, I'm more about cost per wash, you know, and you, so I'm, I like buying five litres of something and it lasts me a lifetime and my cost per wash is a lot, lot better, you know. So not everyone's in that category. So if you want something ready to use that you can grab in Halfords and you, you have less detailing products than I do, and that's just a little snippet of some of them. I've got cupboards full of stuff. Um, then this is perhaps more suited for you. Cleaning power is good on this product. It's not, um, it's not as good as Surfex HD at degreasing, and that's at 10 to 1. So that has more wetting ability, more degreasing power than Auto Glim uh, All Purpose Cleaner. From what, what I've shown you, okay, from what I've shown you, but it did did well actually. It did strip that most of that dirt simulator off. Safety, well, like I say, Auto Glim don't tend to use anything corrosive or nasty. And the only thing you cannot use this product on is those sensitive screens on the inside of your car. Uh, APC now, why have I written that? I can't believe that <laughs> Auto Glim have just released an APC in 2023. I thought they had one. I just thought they had one. Um, so you could, some people say Auto Glimmer late to the game, slow to market with stuff. You could say that, and that's fair enough. Um, but I think probably what they've done is they've probably had like an engine bay cleaner. In fact, they've got an engine bay degreaser, a wheel cleaner, a leather cleaner, and all that sort of stuff. So they felt like they've had products in their lineup to do it. They didn't need an APC. But I think detailing has become so popular now. The term APC is like everyone wants an APC. So you need an APC. Why? Because you can use an APC to clean your wheels. You can use it to clean those. You can use it to clean this. So you don't need all these chemicals necessarily. An APC will do lots, lots well, you know. So yeah, they do need an APC. And yeah, they, you know, they probably should have had one already. Um, so it ticks a lot of boxes with surface suitability. You're not going to get any issues with filming or staining. Like if you've got black pillars there and you use a caustic or you've got the gloss things going around there and you use a caustic traffic film remover and you rinse it off and it's all white and milky and it won't come off. You can ruin those sometimes. They're plastic ones and you can't buff on them to knock the staining off. You can ruin them. This product isn't going to do that and I've used it as a pre-wash and it does help as a pre-wash. Add some kick. Um, that will also help you if you've got loads of road film on your car. You can go around and spray it and then use the Auto Glim, Glim Polar Blast on top. This will soak into the dirt film. The Polar Blast will go over all the rest of the car. The APC will be the dominant thing that's working and the, it will stop the Polar Blast being able to soak into the dirt film when it's in there a little bit, but it, it's more powerful than the um, Polar Blast, so that's okay. The Polar Blast will stop the APC drying, probably mix in with it a little bit and you'll rinse it all off. So it can be used to add kick. When you use it as a pre-wash, you will get through tons of it. Um, like, you know, if you're going around spraying the lower panels, you fly through it. And this trigger, um, I've talked about these before, it's, it's sort of, hard, it hampers your grip of the bottle with the square shoulders a little bit. And this trigger, Actually, it puts out a fair bit, but if you're outside in the wind, it can be a bit difficult. So I like to decant them into these IK sprayers with these Tolco Big Blaster. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they've got four, litre, four millimeter, Uzi nine millimeter, hollow tip round. <laughs> Look at the size of the chamber on this, and like, it just hurls it out. You can adjust that, and it just hurls chemical out. Like you go through your product a bit quicker, but it saves you saves your hands. So let's just finish rinsing this off.
It's interesting actually. Yeah, so like the auto glim is kind of on par with the Geon. You know, it's left a little bit behind. The Surfex is definitely more powerful, but that Geon is at five to one, so it's cheaper. Um, so there you go, guys. I've covered everything in this. If you want a ready-to-use, all-purpose cleaner that's safe and you can use on everything, apart from what it tells you you can't use it on, which isn't much, then you can pop down to Halfords, have a bottle of that, and you'll be in good hands. If you want to get the most value for money and you're, you're not worried about the convenience of an RT, uh, ready-to-use RTU, then you're better off with a heavily concentrated uh, all-purpose cleaner but you need to be careful and follow the instructions if you're going to go that way. Um, so it's convenience versus value for money. So there you go. That is the Auto Glim APC final summary. It's probably a little bit more potent and rich than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a bit, bit less foamy, a bit less potent on my dirt simulator. So Auto Glim have given you the degreasing power. Um, yeah, and it seems like decent stuff. I will happily go through and use all of this very, very rapidly um, because you use it for everything. Um, and APCs are essential. So there you go, guys. I'll stick a link for it in the description if I can find one. And otherwise, take care. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detailing Channel.